Right now, Massachusetts voters are heading to the polls to cast their ballots in primary elections, as we are now just over two months to go until Election Day. Starting today, Republican-aligned groups are pouring new money into ad campaigns as they hope to reset key Senate campaigns and look to gain control of Congress this November. NBC News reports, quote, in interviews with more than 20 Republicans working closely with monitoring the midterm campaigns, there was a wide acknowledgement that the candidates in these hotly contested races needed a reset, with Democrats heading into a critical stretch of the cycle buoyed by strong fundraising and indicators that abortion rights may be galvanizing voters. Right now, Senator Pat Toomey is speaking alongside Republican Senate candidate and met Oz in what is a major race this November. Yesterday, President Biden was in the Commonwealth, where he campaigned with Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, who was running against Oz. Also yesterday, Biden in Milwaukee again said that MAGA Republicans are a threat to democracy. Joining us now is NBC News senior politics reporter Jonathan Allen. Also with us, Victoria de Francesco Soto, the dean of the Clinton School of Public Service at the University of Arkansas and an, MSG, and an MSNBC and NBC News analyst. So, Jonathan, what more did you learn in your reporting about the new campaign blitz by Republicans? Well, Jose, we're going to see uh, a whole lot of ads in these swing states right now. Uh, after the summer, Democrats are in a much better position than I think most uh, prognosticators had predicted that they would be in at this point. If you look around those states, uh, Pencil whether it's Pennsylvania, Nevada, uh, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, uh, Democratic candidates are in the lead in, uh, in Ohio. Uh, J.D. Vance, the Republican, has a narrow lead over Tim Ryan and what would be a hold for Republicans. So the battle is very close. And uh, we're going to see a lot of ads, $169.2 million in spending from the Senate Leadership Fund, which is the super PAC that is aligned with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. And so this is not, I guess, new money, right? I mean, they've had this and there's been a plan to institute that money and put that money out. Jonathan, the, the Democrats have a far bigger war chest. That's right, Jose. Uh, there's a big fight going on among Republicans about how exactly to spend their money, because what we've seen from Democrats already is uh, them outspending the Republicans. They are uh, planning to put more, even more money in. And the fight that's going on on the Republican side is between that McConnell group, uh, McConnell aligned group, the Senate Leadership Fund, with all that money, the National Republican Senatorial Committee, which had $23 million in the bank at last count, much smaller that, than that $169.2 million, uh, and some outside Republican donors about who's going to spend the money to save these candidates. The NRSC, which is led by Florida Senator Rick Scott, who has ambitions of potentially running for McConnell's job or even president of the United States, uh, says that it has been a bridge over the course of the last couple of months, provided about $45 million in spending to keep Republicans afloat. Uh, but McConnell has said that poor candidate choice, largely driven by uh, the whims of former President Donald Trump, is to blame for the place that Republicans are in now. And he wants to see the people who supported those candidates, namely Rick Scott, Peter Thiel, the uh, billionaire investor, uh, put some of the money forward, and particularly in Arizona, where uh, the candidate there for the Republicans, Blake Masters, has recently been scrubbing his website of past positions, including on abortion. Uh, McConnell doesn't want to go in and bail him out if he's not able to win.